Hey everybody, it's Tasha Greiling with Parkwood Knowles Life. I hope everyone's having a great day and staying safe. Um, I'm talking here with one of our preferred partners. I'm joined here today with Dr. Tim Fargo with Ch Chiropractic Health and Wellness. We're just hanging out for a quick interview and I'm just really grateful with everything happening in the world that we have the ability to adapt and help out our partners in different ways. So I just want to start out by saying thank you for your partnership with Parkwood Knowles Life. And I've just enjoyed getting to know you, your business and your family. And, and I thank you for hopping on um, with me here today. You're so very welcome. It's my pleasure. Thanks. Well, let's tell people more about you. Um, so tell, tell viewers a little bit about what you do. Uh, well, uh, as you, as is implied in the name of my business, I am a chiropractor. Uh, have been so at uh, the bulk of it in Edina for the last 38 years. I think 35 of them actually in Edina. Um, I'm right across the street from the new Lifetime Fitness gym on uh, 66th Street. And I have a mm, interdisciplinary practice. I have massage therapy. We do a ton of nutrition work. We do a lot of spinal rehabilitation. I do a lot of work with scoliosis uh, patients actually. It's one of our, one of our specialties. Um, really, I consider it to be a lifetime family wellness practice, as much as caring for people who have particular specific acute complaints. I just do a lot of work with people that choose to incorporate chiropractic as part of staying healthy throughout their lives. I have patients that have been with me for 35 years. Oh, wow. Um, that's awesome. do, yeah, doing that kind of work. So that's different because a lot of people just think, oh, when they think chiropractor, they go, oh, well, I, have, I don't have back pain. Why would I need one? Or I don't have neck pain. Why would I need one? Well, you might need one because you actually want to incorporate as much as you can in your lifestyle choices. You want to incorporate things that are going to help upregulate up and increase your general level of health. So is that, is that something that separates your services from others in your industry that that holistic approach or are there other things too? Uh, well, there are, there are a number of things. I mean, one is longevity. Uh, I've been there a long time and we, ha it's very much a family practice as you showed me the, the mailing piece that, or the, the, yes. the, the piece you that you featured did right here in our, in right, our publication right, right. this so, month. <laughs> so, so, uh, my wife, Nancy has worked with me for 35 years. Uh, now my daughter Kaylee is one of our doctors. My other associate doctor, he was a patient of mine when he was a little boy. So, so now it's, it, it's kind of, uh, it's very much a, a family situation, which that is one of our unique selling points. So we're really, really geared to taking care of families because we're a family. And we, we, we care for you. For better or for worse, we care for you like you're one of our family when you come <laughs> in. So sometimes that's, that's not, so, sometimes that's not so good because we're, we're very familiar with you. But um, <laughs> Yeah, well, after and, 35 um, years, yeah. <laughs> and and the uh, I, we do a ton of work with um, with sports and sports injuries and athletes. I spent 15 years with the Vikings as their chiropractor, um, and really cut my teeth in that whole arena. We do another um, we do do another thing which really involves spinal rehabilitation, helping people restore restore and. Um, mm, spinal curvatures or if they have a scoliosis we do things with that that's very unique for us and more and more the fact that as i described to you we are a lifetime family wellness practice that's a bit unique too sure sure well um, what do you enjoy so most about things. what do you enjoy and most about what you do uh i think the biggest thing i think the biggest thing is just being able to help people i mean i have patients that have They've been at the Mayo Clinic. They've been at the Clinic of Neurology. They've been all over the place. They've not been able to be helped. And sometimes if what they have is a chiropractic condition, it's unbelievable. I mean, I can tell you story after story after story about people who had been, for one reason or another, given up for loss yeah. and who, who we were able to bring back from the dead, so to speak. <laughs> that's so, so cool. So, that, so that's really fun. And I, Oh, the other thing that I really enjoy about what I do, is I do a lot of teaching. I have four interns and I do, and I mentor about 30, 30 chiropractic students on an active basis. And so for me, bluntly, I probably enjoy teaching what I do as much as I do doing what I do. 
So that, that that's a huge thing for, for me personally. Sure, you're passing it along and, and bringing your your expertise in the, into yeah. the world. Yeah, it's really now, fun. So. Um, so tell us something that people might not know about you. We could have a little fun with this one. Uh, <laughs> no, no, you put me on the spot. Well, I'm, I'm having a secret love affair. Oh. Um, yeah, would you like to meet him? Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, here he is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> and what's so his is, name? His name is Oliver. Hey, he Ollie. Go, he, he, he goes Hi. by Ollie. He goes by <laughs> Ollie. So he's so he's totally thrilled to be here. So he's I know little, Ollie. He's, I'm. I love seeing him too. It's. I haven't oh, been yeah, in the office, obviously, so I get to see him this way. <laughs> yeah, these guys. They've not. They've not been able to go to the office now because of COVID. But okay. Uh, because they they're they'll get up on your lap and they can be they can be a source of of passive transmission so sure sure um, well we just mentioned that that your office has been closed so tell us a little more about how covid's affected you and your business and um you know well, just a little bit about that yeah um as we talked before before the formal interview started uh i have the the dubious distinction of actually being a covid survivor both my wife and I, I was in Colorado skiing in the early part of March, basically contracted the virus. Uh, independent of that, we had chosen to close our office because it, honestly, it just felt out of control for us. We didn't know how we were gonna adequately protect our staff, ourselves, our patients. And so we've been closed for the last uh, six six weeks now, really. Okay. and. Um, so obviously that has a really big effect on your business, mm -hmm. but we're, we're, um, a Nancy and I are through, through it. Like the good news is, yeah, it was bad, but the good news is we made, made it through and we're ready to reopen the office. We're going to do that on Monday and we have really, really strict protocols about how we're going to care for people and yet protect you and protect our staff when you come in, so. Okay, so you've yeah. got all that in place and do you wanna tell us just briefly about that or? Yeah, well, I mean, and this is, every business, like some of the people that may listen to this are business owners. There are people who are patients or prospective patients. This thing's gonna be around for a long time. It Okay, well now the stay at home restrictions are gone. Well, it doesn't mean anything really. It just means that we're all going to be out and about a little bit more. You just got to, you have to do what you can do to protect yourself. And for us, that means minimizing all the touch points. When you come into the clinic, everybody is screened before they come in. Everybody has their temperature taken when they come in. Everybody, we do screening, have a screening questionnaire that talks about everything from recent travel to recent exposure to other people who either have or are suspected of having blah 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 uh, when you come into the office for some people who choose to do so the waiting room is our parking lot <laughs> you'll 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 call in and say oh, i'm out in the parking lot i'm here right. and then as soon as the table's ready for you we'll go good you're up you'll walk into the office you won't touch a doorknob you won't touch anything all of our tables are sanitized and covered with one use coverings uh we're all wearing masks you're required to wear a mask we we adjust you you leave you don't we don't do anything with credit cards it's all done ahead of time sure. scheduling's done ahead of like it's it's going to be pretty smooth yeah it but sounds it's like gonna take, it's, it yeah it's going to take a little getting used to for all of us sure it's, it's changed yeah. but is there any advice that you have or um for any other business owners or anything else you'd like to share about what's going on right now? Yeah. Um, like I said, I think you have to gear up for the long haul. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it, there is not going to come a point where, oh, now it's over. Mm -hmm. It's not like that. It's like influenza. Like when did, influ when did influenza end? Did it end after your last flu shot? No. It's, it's every year it keeps coming back and we have to deal with it. And this is going to be, in some respects like that um my suggestion is you're gonna if you're a restaurant whether it be on the 18th of may that you're gonna get the go ahead to open or not 
whether you're a healthcare provider, a dentist, a chiropractor, a physician, medical doctor, whatever. I mean, you're going to be able to reopen. You got to really put the work in to, to think about how are you going to protect the people who who come to you? How are you going to protect your staff? Um, we're all just going to have to adapt. But yeah. the good the good news is we're we're all smart and capable people, and we can find ways of doing it. Absolutely. Well, good. Well, I. Um, what's the best way for someone to contact you guys right now? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, like I said, we're opening Monday. Then okay. it'll be just by phone. My our phone number is uh, nine five two eight three five six seven five zero. Um, we also have a website, which is www.chw, M as in Mary, N as in noodle.com, chwmn.com. You can contact us there. Um, and I think that's, that's probably the best way at this point. Great. Great. Yeah. Well, I look forward to catching up with you again soon, hopefully in person soon, one of these days, but I thank you yeah. so much time today, Dr. Fargo, and uh, look forward to talking with you again soon. Likewise. Thanks.